ట్రిబ్యునల్స్ ఇన్ ఇండియా ట్రిబ్యునల్స్ ఆర్ స్పెషలైజ్డ్ బాడీస్ ఎస్టాబ్లిష్ బై లా టు అడ్జుడికేట్ డిస్ప్యూట్స్ అండ్ కంప్లైంట్స్ ఇన్ స్పెసిఫిక్ ఏరియాస్ వైల్ నాట్ ఒరిజినలీ మెన్షన్డ్ ఇన్ ద ఇండియన్ కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ దే వర్ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్డ్ ఇన్ నైన్టీన్ సెవెంటీ సిక్స్ త్రూ ద ఫార్టీ సెకండ్ అమెండ్మెంట్ యాక్ట్ టు అడ్రస్ ద ఓవర్ బర్డన్ కోర్ట్ సిస్టమ్ అండ్ ప్రొవైడ్ స్పీడి అండ్ అఫోర్డబుల్ జస్టిస్ కీ ఫీచర్స్ ఆఫ్ ద ట్రిబ్యునల్స్ క్వాసి జుడిషియల్ నేచర్ ట్రిబ్యునల్స్ ఎక్సర్సైజ్ పవర్స్ సిమిలర్ టు కోర్ట్ సచ్ ఆస్ టేకింగ్ ఎవిడెన్స్ ఎగ్జామినింగ్ విట్నెసెస్ అండ్ passing binding orders however they are not part of the formal court hierarchy and may have less stringent procedural rules subject matter realization tribunals are typically focused on specific sectors like taxation labor consumer protection competition or environmental issues this expertise allows for quicker and more informed decisions composition tribunals are usually headed by a chairperson or president with expertise in relevant field along with other members who may be judicial officers technical experts or administrative representatives procedure tribunal proceedings are generally less formal than regular courts aiming for quicker disposal of cases however principles of natural justice and fair hearing must be followed appeals decisions of tribunals can often be appealed to higher special to tribunals or in some cases to the high court or supreme court functions and benefits of tribunals they reduce the backlogs in regular courts by handling specialized disputes tribunals ease the burden on courts and expedite justice delivery they provide specialized expertise their focused nature allows for in-depth understanding of specific sectors leading to better informed judgments faster and cheaper dispute resolution compared to courts tribunals offer relatively quicker and more affordable proceedings benefiting both individuals and businesses decentralized justice delivery the establishment of tribunals at various levels ensures accessibility to justice even in remote areas challenges and concerns independence some concerns exist regarding the independence of tribunals as their finances and appointments may be controlled by the executive branch transparency and accountability lack of clear oversight mechanisms and procedural complexities can raise doubts about transparency and accountability within tribunals quality of adjudication Concerns exist about the quality of adjudication in some tribunals due to potential lack of expertise or training among members. Let's see the recent developments. The Tribunal Reforms Act 2021 aims to address challenges by streamlining procedures, establishing a central appellate tribunal and enhancing transparency and accountability. Digitization efforts are underway to improve record keeping, case management and accessibility of tribunal proceedings. Tribunals play a crucial role in India's judicial system by providing specialized speedy and affordable justice in specific areas. While challenges remain in terms of independence, transparency and quality of adjudication, ongoing reforms and digitization efforts hold promise for strengthening the efficacy and effectiveness of tribunals. Specific types of tribunals in India India has a diverse landscape of tribunals dedicated to handling disputes in various specialized areas. Let's see some prominent examples. Central Administrative Tribunal It focuses on service matters for public servants, for recruitment promotions and disciplinary actions established under article 323a of the constitution with one principal bench in delhi and multiple benches across states its significance is it provides speedy and affordable justice to government employees reducing the burden on regular courts national consumer disputes redressal commission it focuses on consumer protection issues including product defects unfair trade practices deficiency in services it was established under the consumer protection act 1986 with the national commission in delhi and state state level consumer commissions it empowers consumers to seek redress against unfair practices and defective goods and services next one is the income tax appellate tribunal it focuses on appeals against income tax assessment orders it was established under the income tax act 1961 with multiple benches across india it provides tax payers a platform to challenge tax assessments and seek fair resolution of disputes national green tribunal it focuses 
focuses on environmental issues including pollution, forest conservation, wildlife protection. Established under National Green Tribunal Act 2010 with a principal bench in Delhi and regional benches across India. It plays a crucial role in protecting the environment and ensuring sustainable development. Next one is the Competition Commission of India. It focuses on antitrust and competition law violations including cartels, market dominance and predatory pricing. It was established under the Competition Act 2002 with a commission and various benches across India. It promotes fair competition in the market and protects consumers from anti-competitive practices. These are just a few examples and India has many other specialized tribunals dealing with areas like labor disputes, intellectual property, broadcasting and more. Each tribunal has its unique jurisdiction and procedures catering to specific needs and ensure during efficient resolution of disputes within their domain tribunals are not part of regular court hierarchy but exercise quasi judicial powers they offer faster and more affordable dispute resolution compared to regular courts different tribunals have specialized expertise in their respective areas concerns exist regarding the independence and accountability of some tribunals Now let's see the case studies of landmark judgments by tribunals in India. Central Administrative Tribunal the case is MP Yadav versus Union of India 2014. This case established the right of government employees to seek promotion based on seniority even if they face disciplinary proceedings. This judgment protected their career progression and prevented arbitrary delays in promotions. National Consumer Dispute Redressal Commission the case is Neeraj Jain versus Hon Honda Motor India Limited 2018 This case awarded compensation to a car owner for manufacturing defects despite the warranty period being over The National Consumer Disputes Redressal Commission recognized the principle of inherent vice setting a precedent for holding manufacturers accountable for hidden defects Income Tax Appellate Tribunal The case is Pankaj Jain versus Commissioner of Income Tax 2017 The case expanded the definition of agricultural income to include income from poultry farming this ruling benefited numerous farmers across the country national green tribunal the case is mc mehta versus union of india taj mahal case 2004 this case implemented stringent measures to control air pollution around the taj mahal establishing the national green tribunal as a powerful advocate for environmental protection competition commission of india The case is Kingfisher Airlines versus Indigo Airlines 2014. This case penalized Indigo Airlines for predatory pricing practices setting a precedent for ensuring fair competition in the airline industry. These case studies highlight the vital role of tribunals in upholding individual rights, consumer protection and environmental justice. They demonstrate the ability of tribunals to interpret and apply laws in innovative ways leading to progressive judgments. These cases show how How tribunal decisions can set important precedents and have wider implications for various sectors. These are just a few examples and numerous other landmark judgments by tribunals have impacted different areas of Indian life.